good day. At the end of this video, you must be able to explain what two-thirds mean using a slice of bread and no writing. So we take a slice of bread and we cut it into three equal parts, almost like this, and then each of these parts will be called a third, a third, and a third. So I say again, I took the slice of bread, I cut it into three equal parts, here's my three parts, one of these parts is called a third, that's a third, and that's a third. This is one third, this is two thirds together, and three thirds in total, or a whole slice again. So once more, up to the two thirds. We take one slice of bread, we cut it into three equal pieces. One of the pieces is a third, this is a third, and this is a third. This third plus this third will then give me two thirds. I can also say, I take away one third, and two thirds will be left. And that will look like this. This is two-thirds of the slice of bread. And please remember, it is the wording that is important. You cut the slice into three equal parts. One of them is a third, the other one is a third, and two of those pieces is two-thirds. Please indicate it whether you liked or disliked this video. You can also subscribe to the channel. If there's anything you're not sure about in school maths, specifically fractions now, you can send an SMS or a WhatsApp to this number with a request of something that you don't understand. We will then look at it, make a small video, and put it on YouTube for free, that other people can benefit from what you asked.